So you've got a service up and running on Cloud Run and a database instance created on Cloud SQL. But how do you actually use that database from Cloud Run? In this video, I'm going to be sharing step-by-step -step instructions to configure your Google Cloud project and your Google Cloud Run service to actually connect and use that Cloud SQL database. So first, we're going to talk about some of the prerequisites and assumptions we're making in this video. Then we're going to talk about how to configure Google Cloud to actually enable this connection. And then we'll walk through how to actually do the connection from Cloud Run to Cloud SQL. So let's start with prerequisites. So we're going to assume that you already have your Cloud Run service up and running and you already have your Cloud SQL Postgres instance created. If you don't yet have your Cloud SQL Postgres instance created, I have a video on how to do this really quickly and cheaply for less than $10 a month linked up above. So assuming all that's true, uh, we can go ahead to configure our Google Cloud project to enable this connection. So the easiest way to actually connect Cloud Run to your Cloud SQL instance is through the Cloud SQL proxy. This requires your database instance to have a public IP enabled, but it's going to make it really simple for us to connect with minimal extra configuration required. So let me quickly demo how this works. So here I have my Cloud SQL instance. I just have a test one that I've created. And here I have Cloud Run. Uh, this is a service that's not right, working right now because it's not able to connect to that Cloud SQL instance. So to connect, we're going to go to Cloud Run. We're going to connect the service or go through the service that we want to connect. We're going to hit Edit and Deploy New Revision. Then we're going to click the Connections tab. And then we're going to come down here to the Cloud SQL Connections area and click Add Connection. It might ask you if you want to enable the Cloud SQL Admin API. Go ahead and do that. And then click this drop down and select the one that you want to connect to. This is that Cloud SQL instance I just showed you and then hit deploy. Once this new revision is out, it should be able to connect to the Cloud SQL instance. Now, just because it can connect doesn't necessarily mean it will be able to connect. And so that's where we're going to get to in this next part of how to actually set up your connection from Cloud Run to Cloud SQL. Now, the exact way that you're going to be doing this connection is going to be largely dependent on your tech stack and how it likes to connect. But pretty much any connection is going to need the same core parameters to build its connection string. So here, I'll just show you how you can fill those, uh, how you can get the correct values for them. So the first parameter is the host parameter, which basically tells your service where it needs to go and search for this instance to talk to. Because we've enabled the Cloud SQL proxy, it's going to be of the form slash Cloud SQL slash and then with your connection name. To get your connection name, you can go to your Cloud SQL database instance and get it right here. So this would be slash Cloud SQL slash and then this connection name after. For the database user and the database name, these are both going to default to Postgres on Cloud SQL. And for the database password itself, you should have configured this when you created your Cloud SQL instance. Uh, if you forgot what that password is or you need to change it, you can also do that from your Cloud SQL instance page. So for posterity, I'm going to walk you through my Cloud Run setup to prove that it's working following these steps. So here's my app. Uh, we can see that it was healthy and serving. And then if we go in here and then we look at the environment variables, which I'm using to show this, we can see that we have the database host, which is at that Cloud SQL. And then here is the instance name I showed you before. Database name I've got is Postgres. Database user is Postgres. And then the password I set for now is just I am a test. And that's how it works. So you should now be able to connect your Cloud Run instance to your Cloud SQL instance. If you want to see how I run my Cloud SQL Postgres databases for less than $10 a month, you can check out this video. And you can check out this one to see the modern tech stacks that I recommend for building applications.